Hey there guys, this is Jesse with Permofit. I just wanted to bring you a quick uh, kind of garden update other than pulling weeds in the garden and transplanting some strawberries, which I'll show you here in just a second. Um, <clears throat> I got my seeds started. I'm a little bit late for the season. Six weeks, four weeks. I don't know, depends on when you start. Southern Montana. Um, I think they'll be just fine. But anyways, uh, I'll just show you my setup. So I just have some, well, here, let me do it this way. Hey, there we go. So I have um, my two peppers that are the jalapeno and the habanero that add the heat bread out of them. Um, I have the atomic cherry tomatoes. I have the uh, sour gherkin uh, they, they're the cucumbers, they're the size of grapes. And then I have China Rose radishes and uh, Black Mountain watermelons. And then I have just a row, you can kind of see the rows here, the last couple, of, there's nothing in there. Then I just have a row of each, except the radishes, I have two rows. So, got those in there, I add a bunch of water, this is just rock wool, got a bunch of water in there. And then I have... Um, this is kind of a heat rope for just plugged in. It's usually for lizards and reptiles. Um, and I just have it in here to add some um, extra heat. The grow light, which is over here, which has nothing to do with it and it's, or coincidence or anything. Um, I just haven't started because as soon as these start getting uh, big enough, I'm going to put them in my raised bed. I'll show you that here in just a minute. And just an FYI, so Zep Collector 98 gave me a while ago. Let me shut this off so you can actually see it. It's all grow light there. And there we go. So that is uh, dragon fruit. And at several years old, it, if you can tell here, I go weeks or months between watering sometimes, but I've been kind of semi-regular with watering recently so it's got um it looks like that it's doing quite well this is from two or three years ago bamboo and and mints and different stuff like that that were doing really well but i uh haven't um done anything with growing or hydroponics in forever so i haven't cleaned this stuff out yet i will i'm just not there yet so anyway, so here's here's the seeds that are going to be for the upcoming growing season. And then I will, my shop's a disaster. I'm not going to show it to you, but I'm stepping over stuff. I got everywhere from electronics to refrigeration to all, all kinds of stuff. Um, my grow lights are on. It's been years since I set the timer. I'm pretty sure they are on a grow cycle not a blooming cycle or fruiting cycle or whatever you want to call it so they're on for long periods of time to get max growth i'm sure if i shorten that up i could get that dragon fruit to um, develop more and possibly produce dragon fruit but i'm having it in this it's doing it's doing well i haven't had to do much other than water it now i'm going to show you my pear and my plum trees it's the beginning of the season, so they're just starting to do pretty good. So here's the pear tree. Um, it turned out the weather is breaking, so it's kind of nice. Ignore the yard, I haven't mowed it yet. Here's my, um, my semi-dwarf plum tree. It's doing pretty good so far. Got some stuff going. Here's my raised bed, which... Uh, uh, it had a ton of weeds in it. I pulled them while they were still dead. But the grass has taken over, so I gotta figure out a really don't want to use chemicals, but I'm gonna figure out a way to get rid of the chemicals. And here's my dwarf um, plum tree. It's a little bit behind schedule, but not bad. We've been getting a bunch of rain here recently. And I got some dripper hose I'm gonna put in. Um, oh, and then strawberries. So I haven't done anything with strawberries in a couple of years, and I had I think like eight or ten planted at one point but um 
you can see this little guy's alive and this one's definitely alive I transplanted them from there um, just to a bucket and I'm just gonna put it right back in there and um, go from there so keep this kind of short uh, I just wanted to give you a garden update I'm gonna try another batch of brew I, I know I my last video was really poor I'm just getting washed out here there we go it was really poor as far as quality it was kind of spontaneous and stuff and everything but I've been watching a lot of uh, city setters um, YouTube channel um, they have way, way more subscribers than I do so I, it's not like I need to promote them much but um, but they're pretty new they've only been around about a year and um, they're they're pretty uh, pretty good they, they do a good job they're they're organized and um, super regular and they have a variety of stuff mostly brewing but a little bit of gardening um, and I think they're in Florida somewhere anyways there's a bunch of other good YouTube channels I've been watching um, Dow Flater Mouse if you haven't seen his he's got a really good one he released basically on on uh, the t totalitarianism of YouTube and how they're demonetizing stuff and changing their policy to basically just have cookie cutter type you know um, I'm all for gardening I'm all for prepping I'm all for DIY type stuff and everything but it's really the um, the things that people disagree about but can but can talk about that are worth having out there you know and uh, just the prime example is conspiracy theories whether you believe them or not um, if you do even a little bit of research on whatever subject you want it's not hard to find a conspiracy that was proven true and the conspiracy should stand on its own that's it if it's a junk conspiracy or a myth or a rumor that's made up it's going to be fairly evident based on research and guess what that's it if you want to believe in lies you go ahead I'm not gonna oppose that but you're an idiot now what now there's a gray area about what's a lie and what's not a lie who's presenting the information how are they presenting the information is there being you know life lying through omission is huge and you say I didn't lie well you didn't you didn't acknowledge all the facts. anyways it's I'm getting off the point the point is the fact that YouTube's stopped promoting those type of videos they've also gone into weapons and stopped promoting weapon type videos you know most of the human his human race has a history of defensive weapons and offensive weapons and weapons in general and we are generally a fairly combative race so to deny the promotion of that is pretty stupid silly I don't know how you want to say it but <clears throat> YouTube is its own co corporation company and it can kind of do what it wants there's a gray area about um, uh, how the government interprets corporations use of First Amendment rights so that's kind of a big issue it's the same with newspapers the newspaper is a private corporation or a private company yet they have to follow First Amendment right deals you know I mean there's a, there's a lot of gray area in that area you can go talk to a, a constitutional lawyer and they can probably give you some more details but anyways um, I'm getting way off track uh, I am gonna do some hydroponics this year I do have a better pump um, and uh, but I haven't filled up my water barrel yet I haven't done any nutrients or pH balancing I haven't done anything I'm literally just getting started on a lot of this stuff um, I know I'm a little bit behind the track but the nice thing about hydroponics is you start any time and the plants don't know what season it is for the most part um, so I also have some plum pear brew that I made the, the 
stuff that was majority pear or plum didn't turn out well. Um, I, I think it turned into some variation of um, vinegar. It had some look like white mold stuff floating on top. And the uh, pear looks fine. I haven't tested it yet though. I did a poor job. I didn't do a gravity reading to begin with. I just want to see if I could. Um, so at some point I'm going to be bottling and sampling the pear stuff. The other stuff I don't know what I'm going to do with. I did not um, pasteurize the fruit, which I should have. I think this next season, the end of this year or summer, I'm going to pasteurize it. But anyways, I have a cider brewing um, and I have uh, mead and I think the mead's going to be ready soon. So anyways, this is over 10 minutes long. Oh God, I'm pushing 11 minutes. Anyways, all right, bye guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Possibly Patreon. Eh, no worries. I'm not very good at steady content. So, all right, bye.